hanging out at Lubeck Road Auto Mall today, getting ready for Pooja Palooza 2 with Sue, the director of Paws. Thanks so much for meeting us here. Oh, thank you for having us. Bringing some pups. <laughs> Tell us about Pooja Palooza 2. Well, this is our second, we hope, annual mm -hmm. uh, um, affair, and we're hoping to adopt a lot of dogs. Uh, Nose Ark and Paws will have our, some of our foster dogs and some of their resident dogs there. Yeah. It's all happening Saturday, uh, September 9th. So it's happening at Lou Back Road. I know that they are covering all the adoption fees. What does that mean, you know, as opposed to just anybody walking to Paws or walking to Noah's Ark and, you know, adopting an animal? Well, we will do pre approval on our, all of our applications because um, we're not big on walk in adoptions. Sure. So that way we have a chance to check for fences and, you know, that animals are allowed and things like that. Um, it just means another, it opens up options for people who might be struggling a little bit with the adoption fees. Sure. And uh, we're also um, we're also collecting things here at Poochapalooza. We want to help animals, um, help you guys out for different things that you might need throughout the year. What kind of items are we collecting? Um, we are in need of dry puppy food. Okay. And dog and cat toys and things like paper towels and laundry detergent, bleach and things, you know, to help the shelter run a little bit more efficiently. So that's pretty nice things for people to be able to stop by and donate. I don't know that everyone always knows that like that's an opportunity to help out the community to bring those things to you guys. Absolutely. And we rely on the community. Sure. We're, we're basically a uh, volunteer organization, so we're 99% volunteers as it is, so the community is what runs PAWS. Yeah, so that's a lot of uh, a lot of different things that you know we can do to help out. Maybe if a, a new animal isn't part of your 2023 plan, you can still yeah. be part of Poochapalooza. Yes. I hear there were 14 animals adopted last year. Yes. What's our goal for this year? Oh, let's go 20. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we have some animals here today. Tell me about these guys. All right, so over here is Foxy, and she's a six-year-old Pomeranian <laughs> mixed dog who was an owner surrender locally, um, came from maybe a little difficult of a, of a home, mm -hmm. um, so she'll need a special home. Sure. Uh, and then this is one of three that we had from this litter. Um, we, he came with the name Pork Chop, but he has, I think, a new name now? Yes, we call him Bugsy. Um, <laughs> It's a wonderful, wonderful puppy, very gentle, very well behaved. Um, just he'd be a great dog for anybody with dogs, with kids, um, just really just an, an awesome little guy. And then our third one is a seven month old mixed breed, we don't know, spaniel something. Um, we think there might have been some abuse in her background. She is a little bit shy, mm -hmm. um, takes a little time to warm up, but um, very, very sweet and very smart little dog. And her name is Tara, and she has a new name also. Oh, she knows that. <laughs> Call her Rumi, because my name is also Tara. <laughs> so Tara was fostering Tara, so she got a new name. Um, That's funny. So, um, yeah, they, you know, they all come from different backgrounds and different experiences, and which is why we foster. So yeah. we, we learn more about our animals and can place them in the appropriate home. All right, Tracy, Lou Back Road is very excited to be a part, obviously, to be hosting this event for the second year in a row. What are you guys hoping to come out of this? Well, I'll tell you what, 20, 25 adoptions would be great. Yeah. There are so many families that want to have a pet, but the initial uh, cost is kind of scary because mm -hmm. it could be upwards of four, four $450. So you get them, they are chipped, they have all of their shots, they come with food. We've got some great vendors out here. Um, K9 Crunchery is going to be here. We're also going to have um, Bark on Mulford with little goodie Bye. bags. <laughs> and of course, uh, Forest City Dog Training Club. They're going to be here doing some tricks and tips for uh, how to train your dog. Cool. So demos with that. And we also have a chance to win a four pack of Cubs tickets for the end of the season, Ooh. which if you're a Cubs fan, you know, it could be some it, really exciting games here at the do, end. They're doing good right now. Yes. <laughs> and all you gotta do to get registered for that is bring in a donation okay. that we will uh, divide between the two rescues. So you yeah. can find out their wish list, what they want and need the most, all at backroad.com or on our Facebook event at back, Blue Backroad Chevy. Awesome. And one more puppy we want to Yay. introduce. <laughs> this is Kit, uh -huh. and she is a German Shepherd lab mix. And such a sweet girl would be great with kids when you, if you want to run around and play in the backyard. She is <laughs> at ready. Noah's Ark. Yes, yeah, she is ready to go. And she is available now, right? She is, as of today, she's available for adoption. 
All right, so you can go to Noah's Ark website, fill out an application, <laughs> and of course they always encourage meet and greets, so you're going to want to make sure that uh, if you do have a dog, you bring them with the day of so they can do the meet and greet to make sure they, they get along. So yeah, we look forward to you joining us for Pucha Palooza 2. It's September 9th, and we are at Lou Backrot Chevrolet right on the showroom floor across from the Cherryville Mall. Details at backrot.com. Coming up next, we are off to Whiskey's Roadhouse to see if they're making the state line's best Bloody Mary, and then we'll introduce you to Mercedes Joyner for game day. We'll be right back.